side. Rawley's field is out there. Six to win. Four for Super Over. More than oh, one. There it is. Yeah, built it. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to discuss today the match between, uh, the full test match between India and New Zealand, which is uh, ongoing at the moment. And uh, I'm also going to uh, discuss today the teams and also going to discuss what the changes uh, uh, could have been useful for India if they would have played those players against New Zealand. Once again, today again, New Zealand, they won the toss. Uh, it has been quite a lot, like quite a few last test matches that uh, Virat Kohli, he has been losing tosses and that's what exactly happened this morning. Uh, well, it was easier for me because um, to watch the match just because it was um, at 4 o'clock in the morning in England. So, I just I was just followed the match. Um, India, they lost the match, uh, toss again and uh, New Zealand, they won the toss and decided to field first because it was the overcast conditions and a uh, few overs, I think so 40 overs they were uh, lost uh, just because of the rain also so altogether it was a 55 overs bowl today and India they were five down uh, I would say India they should have gone uh, with the um, Puchara to open instead of going with the uh, Mayank Agarwal and uh, I'm also uh, gonna say that uh, there could could have been a useful option if uh, India would have gone uh, with the uh, Saha instead of uh, Pant. Uh, well, uh, still they, they are betting and it's gonna. Uh, we will come to know. But at the moment, my prediction for the first test match is New Zealand. They are hot favourites. Uh, they have already taken five wickets on day one. If subject to the condition, if it doesn't rain further, uh, New Zealand they are favourites. Congratulations to Neil Wagner. He's one of my favourite bowler. Uh, he has been blessed uh, with a daughter just before uh, the test match, uh, the first test match, and that's why um, uh, Jameson he was given chance uh, instead of uh, Wagner, and he proved uh, by just taking the. He was so excited when he took the wicket of uh, Virat Kohli and Pujara. Um, that, that was really good and impressive the way he bowled, the area he bowled uh, Jameson. Um, he couldn't control his excitement after their dismissing uh, both Kohli and Pujara. Um, I would also say that uh, I'm gonna tell you some of the stats also today. Um, Mayank Agarwal, he praised uh, Jameson after uh, the Kiwis uh, debut and picked three wickets. Then uh, Jameson, um, uh, he was he, he was clearly looking a different bowler today, on, or maybe it was a surprise by a factor for India, but he was looking a different bowler. Um, uh, Rahana in the, in the in the first session, his uh, strike rate was uh, um, uh, 55. Then in the second session, his uh, uh, strike rate was uh, 88. Uh, so he was uh, impressive uh, because both uh, Agarwal and Agarwal he scored 34 runs and then Rihanna he scored uh, uh, 38 runs. So uh, they both were impressive on day one. I'm also going to tell you that the 25 percent of the Kohli's dismissal outside some subcontinent have been caught in the slip corner. So that's the weakness we remember in the Champions Trophy also. Uh, that was the area where Mohammad Amir was bowling and he got him out twice. Uh, 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 there was a cash drop also and on the next table he got his wicket. So that's the area, that's one of the weaknesses of the Virat Kohli, especially when he's uh, uh, on the foreign tours like England, New Zealand, South Africa and Australia. In test uh, since 2018, Pujara average uh, is um, 49.3 against away going deliveries. However, 24.4 uh, uh, balls uh, is average is uh, the balls uh, coming in. So that's the average of Pujara. Um, I'm also going to talk about Saudi. He had one wicket. Bolt had one wicket, and then Jameson had three wickets. Um, the bowling. Um, I'm going to tell you the bowling of uh, uh, averages of uh, the Saudi and Bolt that uh, uh, both uh, they have, uh, since they have been playing test matches at home Bolt has uh, got a strike rate of 50.4 uh, balls per wicket uh, versus Saudi has got uh, 56.4 however against the openers both of them Saudi has a better strike rate than Bolt uh, Saudi has got a strike rate of 54 however the Bolt has got a strike rate of 61.5 
my prediction if it doesn't rain further in this match india is going to lose this match a uh, bit unfortunate uh, the only plus point for india is that they don't have to um bat four innings but watch out players for me will be ross taylor kane williamson and bj watling these are the three players the stand out players those who performed against england also and if you see the stats also for last few test matches a few series i think so seven series on trot now new zealand they have not been beaten at home and uh, i'm going to share more stats also but uh, that's the particular reason that they have been too good uh, in uh, new zealand and uh, it's uh, one of the toughest team to be beaten in new zealand after australia if you like my video please share it and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much bye